The moon has been an intrinsic part of human culture from its beginnings. Since the first humans began to make art in caves, the moon was already a special element of their paintings, and it sure is still special for us today. As our closest cosmic companion, humans have shared millennia of evolution with the moon in many ways, but we do not usually stop to think about what would happen if the moon had never accompanied us. What if the moon had never existed or if it disappeared today? Could we expect things on our planet to stay the same? In fact, we are about to see that everything that makes the Earth special could be lost in the absence of such a dusty rock orbiting us. 10. Earth's seasons would become crazy. The Earth's rotation on its axis is tilted at about 23.4 degrees, which remains constant throughout the year. This axial tilt leads to variations in the amount of sunlight and heat received by the northern and southern hemispheres, resulting in the annual seasons. The Earth's tilt is believed to have been caused by a collision during its formation 4.5 billion years ago, with the Moon's gravitational influence stabilizing it over time. If the Moon did not exist, some experts speculate that the Earth's tilt could increase significantly. Estimates range from an additional 20 degrees to as much as 85 degrees. Such a drastic tilt would expose the poles directly to the sun, causing the ice caps to melt and triggering extreme climate changes. Even a one-degree shift in the Earth's axial inclination can have significant impacts, leading to ice ages. The Moon's presence plays a crucial role in maintaining the Earth's stable tilt, which is vital for the planet's climate and the existence of distinct seasons. 9. The oceans would come down. Among the best-known effects that the moon produces on Earth are ocean tides. Together with the sun, the moon is responsible for increasing and decreasing the level of our seas several times a day. As the moon revolves around the Earth, the former's gravity pulls the oceans toward it, and thus, high tides are created. In essence, the closer the moon is, the higher the tides. To get an idea of the power of the moon over the oceans, the maximum height difference between low and high tides can be as much as 16 meters. If the moon were not there to cause this effect, ocean tides would be significantly reduced. There would still be tide, because the gravitational force of the sun also does its part over the Earth's water, although its attraction is less than that of the moon. In short, the tides would be reduced to one-third of their current size, and the oceans would become much calmer. The sea level would also be affected. Without the gravity of the moon, the oceanic water would be redistributed uniformly across the entire surface of the Earth. Therefore, the sea level level at the poles would increase drastically. 8. Say goodbye to any other moon. The Earth-Moon gravitational interaction is vital for spacecraft orbit structures like the International Space Station require regular adjustments to prevent them from falling into Earth. Lagrange points, where gravity balances, offer stable positions in space. Hungarian astronomers found massive interplanetary dust clouds at Lagrange points L4 and L5 in 2018, surpassing Earth's size. These points can also temporarily trap asteroids, creating mini-moons before their onward paths. However, if the moon were absent, these Lagrange points would vanish. The dust clouds would disperse, posing collision risks or drifting away due to solar wind and planetary gravity. Similarly, without the moon's influence, asteroids would follow unaltered paths, increasing the chance of collisions with celestial bodies, potentially including Earth. The moon's presence safeguards stability in space and helps protect our planet. 7. How about much shorter days? Earth's rotation time has played a vital role in creating a habitable environment. Currently, our planet completes one revolution every 24 hours, allowing for a pleasant climate as its surface has sufficient time to warm and cool. However, scientists believe that Earth's days were significantly shorter millions of years ago. When Earth and the Moon formed 4.5 billion years ago, the planet spun so rapidly that a day lasted merely four hours. During the time of dinosaurs, the day had already lengthened to 23 hours. The Moon is responsible responsible for this gradual slowdown. Its gravity creates friction forces that decelerate Earth's rotation by 2 milliseconds every 100 years. As the Moon moves away from Earth at a rate of 1.5 inches per year, our planet loses rotational energy, causing a further reduction in spin. If the Moon had never existed, we would expect significantly shorter days than today. If the Moon were to disappear now, the days would remain nearly unchanged at around 24 hours. However, if everything continues as it has, the days will lengthen to 25 hours in approximately 180 million years. 
6. Forget about plate tectonics. By this point, we are already clear that the moon's gravity exerts great effects on the natural processes of the Earth. For example, we saw that the moon causes the ocean tides. But the moon is so powerful over our world that it also produces tides on solid ground, something we know as Earth tides. The moon's constant pull causes the ground to rise up to 30 centimeters due to the elasticity of the Earth's crust and movement of tectonic plates. If the moon hadn't formed, Earth's crust would have remained intact, filling in the ocean gaps. Without the moon, there would be no tectonic plates, preventing mountain formation and resulting in a single land mass covered by water. The absence of the moon would reduce earth tides and potentially decrease the occurrence of small earthquakes related to lunar gravitational stress. 5. We'd lose a shield against unwanted space rocks. Today we know that the earth is bombarded by small meteoroids at a higher frequency than previously thought. The number of meteoric impacts on our planet has tripled during the last 290 million years, to the point that 33 tons of space debris fall to Earth every day. Due to their size, most of these rocks burn completely in the Earth's atmosphere. However, without the presence of the Moon, the impact rate could be much higher, making the Earth a fairly hostile place. The Moon is almost 3,500 kilometers in diameter, about 27% of the Earth's diameter. Thanks to its large size, the Moon has served as a protection for Earth in times of cosmic adversity. Even today, the moon is still like a small shield that protects us from meteoric impacts. Studies show that the gravity of the moon helps to prevent more asteroid collisions with the Earth than it causes. And how much is that? Well, just between 2005 and 2013, NASA detected more than 300 impacts on the lunar surface. This means that in the absence of the moon, hundreds of such bodies could have ended up impacting us. So in that sense, it is hard to imagine Earth without its moon. 4. No more moon, no more gold gold, platinum, palladium, iridium. These metallic elements have proved extremely valuable to our civilization. We have used them in all kinds of inventions, from cars and spaceships to electronics and jewelry. But again, it is likely that we would not have such materials without the moon. Why? To understand it, we must go a little deeper into the facts surrounding the formation of the moon. About 4.5 billion years ago, a rock the size of Mars, which scientists have called Theia, hit squarely against the hot molten surface of early Earth. Both the outer layer of Theia and part of the Earth's mantle were ejected into space, agglomerating in Earth's orbit to form the Moon. However, the core of Theia stayed here on Earth, and the metals that composed Theia became part of our planet. If the Moon had never formed, the concentration of precious metals in the Earth's mantle would be much lower. It happens that metals like gold and platinum tend to be attracted to iron. On a molten planet like the Earth was at first, these metals would have sunk until they reached the iron core. They would have been trapped there forever ever once the core began to cool. 3. Earth's magnetic bubble would be switched off forever. Earth's magnetic field, created by the geodynamo, is crucial for life as it shields us from solar wind and harmful radiation. The geodynamo is sustained by the moon's tidal forces, which keep the Earth's core hot and in motion. Without the moon, the core would solidify, causing the geodynamo and the protective magnetosphere to disappear. The absence of a magnetosphere would expose Earth to solar wind, leading to the complete destruction of our atmosphere and the evaporation of water water reservoirs. Solar radiation would render our planet a lifeless desert, similar to what happened to Mars. Having been like Earth once, Mars lost its magnetosphere 4.2 billion years ago, becoming the scorched red rock it is today. 2. Warning. Wild weather. If there were no moon, the weather patterns on Earth would go crazy. Of course, this assumes that the Earth still has an atmosphere. First, the destabilization of the Earth's axis due to the lack of the moon would cause extreme changes in global temperatures. As the poles would remain longer under the sun's heat, the surrounding oceans could reach a temperature of at least 47 degrees Celsius, 116 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, the areas at the equator would suffer from glaciations. The phases of the moon in the sky also affect the rainfall of a region. When the moon is overhead, the atmospheric pressure and the air temperature increase, which translates into less rainfall for that place. If the moon did not exist, we could expect more rain. But the effect caused by the moon is so minimal that the increase in rainfall would be only 1%. Earth's faster rotation would result in stronger winds, potentially reaching speeds of 160 kilometers per h, 100 miles per hour, daily, akin to Jupiter's wind speeds.
One, it would be a world devoid of intelligent life. The moon's presence is crucial for complex life on Earth. It shields us from catastrophic asteroid impacts, stabilizes our axis, and enables diverse ecosystems to emerge. Without it, the probability of complex life would diminish. Additionally, the moon's gravitational pull generates tides, facilitating vital chemical reactions in primordial oceans where life originated. The tides transport essential minerals, while the moon's role in Earth's magnetosphere protects our oceans from solar radiation damage. Hence, when seeking habitable planets elsewhere, scientists prioritize those with sizable moons. The moon's influence has been instrumental in nurturing and sustaining life as we know it on our planet. That is why, when looking for habitable worlds in other regions of the galaxy, scientists focus on finding planets with large moons that allow the development of life. I'm sure you're going to love to watch our video about scientists finally discovered a new way to travel space without rockets on our channel. Make sure to subscribe to us and never miss our amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.